Hello friends. Today, today I am going to discuss about Arduino Uno R3, and uh, I have seen many videos on Arduino Uno R3 on YouTube. But I am not sure about the basic components on the board. So today is a video on what's on the board. So let's start it. This is the Arduino Uno R3 board, and uh, so we will discuss about the basic components on this board. And first is a crystal. This is uh, the the component inside this board is a crystal and uh, crystal has Arduino dealing with time issues and uh, Arduino calculate time using crystal and uh, number on the top of Arduino crystal that is 16 data here is the frequency of crystal and that is 16 megahertz and uh, this small component can make 16 million cycles per second and so using this con concept Arduino can calculate time. And still two questions in my mind, why are you making select 16 megahertz crystal and do not use 32 megahertz or more? So we have to look in the data sheet of 8 megahertz 3 to 8 p and in the first page on the speed gate, it has been clear that the maximum frequency should not exceed 20 megahertz. So 16 megahertz is suitable. And second question is, why we are taking crystal accuracy? So this depends on the crystal specification and Arduino crystal have 100 ppm accuracy. In simple words, it is a minimum error margin. And uh, the component inside this square is a voltage regulator. And uh, voltage regulator does exactly what it meant says. And uh, it, it controls the amount of voltage that will let into the Arduino board. And uh, it is like a gatekeeper. It will turn away the extra voltage that might harm the circuit. And uh, of course, it has its limits. So don't hook up your Arduino to anything greater than 20 volt and uh, and then the component inside this board square are ICHP and ICHP means USB is for USB interface and uh, this ICHP for 8 mega 3 to 8 and uh, ICHP is in circuit theorem programming and it is a way that allows us to program the chips when they are in circuit and Arduino it helps in, in Arduino in programming Arduino chip directly with AVI instruction without need to Arduino ID and in simple words you can say ICS is a way to program Arduino and the component inside this square is a MOSFET and MOSFET is most beautiful transistor and MOSFETs are used to switch electronic signals and in Arduino you know what does MOSFET do MOSFET is used to switch the power between between USB and external power if there is an external power and Arduino you know, is connected to the computer, the MOSFET will select the external power supply. And if we turn off the external power supply, the MOSFET will choose the USB power. And uh, the component inside this square is 8 mega ATP. And Arduino you know, wants to use a separate microcontroller, rather than separate from it for the purpose of communicating via USB. Arduino you know, has two microcontrollers, as you can see in the figure. There is 8 mega 8 2 and 8 mega 3 2 8. This is 8 mega 3 2 8 chip. And 8 mega 3 2 8 is the one used to store and run your sketches. And 8 mega 8 2 is the middleman between USB and serial input output of the 8 mega 3 2 8. The 8 mega 8 2 contains firmware that makes the UNO appear as serial USB device. Arduino board superior to the UNO uses non programmable liquid USB and at 8 mega 2 is the replacement of this chip and the component inside this square is operation amplifier and you can simply call it as open and open can amplify the input voltage many times now the component inside these squares are the capacitors and it is SMD electrolytic capacitor two from SMD is a sharp found device and our SMD electrolytic capacitors are often marked with the capacitor and working voltage as you can see, example 10 6V. 6V is the operating voltage, and uh, 10, 10 is the 10 microfarad capacitance. And sometimes the code is used in 10, which normally conveys over letter in the 3 digits. The letter indicates the working voltage, and 3 digits of which 2 digits and uh, multiply with the capacitance in picofarad. And here are, let, here are letter and the respective voltage. And so we can see example A475 and uh, a means 10 that is 10 10 volt working voltage and 475 means 2 digits 
four seven and five is a multiplier. So forty seven into ten is to five picofarad. That is four point seven millifarad capacitance. And thanks for watching this video. Thanks. Hope you like it.